Good morning. I'm Karen Shavlin, and my story is pretty simple. Up until about 10 years ago, I was a card-carrying member of NARAL. I believed that abortion was tragic but rare, that without the option of abortion, women couldn't make it in the workplace, that an unplanned pregnancy could derail your career, and that it was just a medical procedure like having your appendix out. After all, if something was legal, how could it be wrong? My personal story about life is that I've changed from that card-carrying member of NARAL to a member of Feminists for Life. I was even misguided enough during that time to choose to have an abortion myself. Uh, you want to know what changed me? This is where I check to see if you're really awake. <laughs> okay. As the acting director of the Medicaid program in New Jersey, we, um, that, that's the medical program for people who are disadvantaged in the state. We had something called a family cap. Under the family cap, when people signed up for public assistance, their cash grant to support their family was capped at the number of children they already had. Normally it goes up with each child that you have while you're on public assistance. Now, New Jersey covered elective abortions. So we had to do a study every 12 months to count how many women were choosing to have abortions. And when I saw the first report, I was heartbroken. And this is in the old days when computer paper was actually attached, each sheet. And that report unfolded. And there were women on it who had had four, three, two, and one abortions in the 12-month period. And this is the part where I always question myself is, why was it so much worse for me that there were four instead of one. One in a 12-month period was bad enough. And there, because it was a snapshot, there was no reason to believe that the 12 months before or the 12 months following any were different for those women. I had bought the lie that abortion was so abhorrent that no one would choose to have multiple ones. And if that information was wrong from the pro-choice side, I had to ask myself, what else was wrong? As I did more research, the more I learned that life starts at conception, that I committed a grave wrong, and that I would make sure that by telling my story, other people would know what I knew. I can't undo my mistakes, but I can help others learn from them. I share my beliefs, my experiences with my students, because I'm a part-time professor, with my family, my friends, and my coworkers. My decision in retrospect was based on maintaining my lifestyle. I'm separating myself from a very unhealthy relationship and avoiding conflict with my peers, with my career. I told no one but my roommate. I never even considered options other than abortion. It was necessary to maintain my career. You see, I also saw that I felt as a black woman that I was feeding into the stereotype that made up all the statistics about unmarried mothers. So I pictured my child, had I decided to have it and put it up for adoption, as being in foster care for the rest of its life. I saw myself and my child, I allowed us to be reduced to a commodity, an opportunity. It is a decision that I have lived with ever since. In retrospect, I could have achieved everything that I have today, either with my child or with an adoption in my past. I underestimated myself, my family, my friends, and our society. I made a decision in the moment, not thinking about life 10, 20, or 30 years later. And I will tell you personally, no appendectomy stays with a woman the way an abortion does. I deserved better, and you deserve better. Thank you.